Welcome back, I'm Dana Bash. It's a time-honored tradition, eating meat off a stick or even a fried Twinkie. Yes, it is Iowa State Fair time, and our Jeff Zeleny explains why the fairgrounds are a mandatory stop on the road to the White House. The Iowa State Fair, Blue Ribbon Americana. Brought to life in the famous musical by Rogers and Hammerstein. At the real Iowa State Fair, nice to meet you. Hi guys. it's more like Bush and Clinton. They and the rest of the 2016 presidential field are back, pressing the flesh and pounding the hot pavement. It's become a mandatory stop on the road to the White House. Over the years, Herbert Hoover and Dwight Eisenhower have stopped by, Gerald Ford and Jimmy Carter too. But it's really a playground for presidential candidates. Iowa's new Republican Senator Joni Ernst explains. If that candidate is willing to get out there and be with people, enjoy them, listen to their comments, that's a real tell of a candidate and, and how they're going to interact with their public. We learn a lot about our politicians at the fair, whether they can be an everyman, like Martin O'Malley on the giant slide. Yeah, yeah that's it. Cool. How they hold up grilling a pork chop. Thank you so much. How they handle getting bumped around. To prepare for this debate, I rode in the bumper cars at the State Fair. <laughs> Chuck Offenberger is the state's unofficial historian. It's a great place for politicians to come and launch ideas and campaigns and, and try to start their way to becoming known by a whole lot of people. He says all those people may be watching for far more than a candidate's policies or positions. Check out how they look when they're wearing a pair of blue jeans. I have always thought that. Um, Mitt Romney, God bless him, was the worst looking guy in a pair of blue jeans I have ever seen. As Mitt Romney learned, the fair also comes with heated moments. That's not the way. That Cor corporations are people, my friend. Now, it's not just politicians being judged. There's flowers, corn, and an 1,100-pound boar named Big Mac. Right, there we go. And of course, the famous butter cow. To mark the 80th anniversary of Monopoly, Rich Uncle Pennybags is also on display. For the record, it was in the works long before Donald Trump jumped into the race. By night, the music turns up and politicians go on their way. But they'll be back. It's only six months before the Iowa caucuses. Okay, bye. Now go get something to eat, guys.